Hello, Joe here from Infinity of Tacoma. Today I'm going to tell you about this lovely 2018 BMW i3 Deco World that we have for sale. This one's a beautiful uh, one owner clean Carfax one from sunny California. Excellent shape inside and out. Still under a factory warranty and only 28,822 miles. This features the range extender, which is a unique uh, feature. Um, the i3 in general is a pretty unique uh, concept as far as electric vehicles go. It's more of a premium electric vehicle, um, you know, where the Bolt and the Leaf are kind of more entry level electric vehicles. This is more of a premium one. I guess price range would be similar to like a Tesla Model 3. Granted, you know, Tesla probably does make uh, the best electric cars available right now. There's still a lot of money, even if you look at, you know, pre owned uh, 2018 Model 3s uh, with the same you know, mileage and new car MSRP, there's still a lot more on the pre-owned market than uh, the i3. You know, most Teslas are still in the mid to high 30s with similar miles and sometimes in the 40s. Uh, this one had an MSRP of $53,895 when it was brand new, not cheap. I don't like to get into too much pricing on my videos because we change our pricing every week, but right now it's priced in the low $20,000 range, so far from the original MSRP of $53,895. And this thing isn't built cheap either. Uh, BMW was very innovative in developing the i3. Uh, it's not a gasoline car retrofitted to be an electric car. This thing was designed from the ground up to be an electric car. And it makes it a lot better electric car in execution because of that. So some of the features on this one include the mineral gray with blue accents. I love these blue accents. Really uh, adds a little bit more pizzazz to the interior. That was $550. Uh, this has a tech driving assist package giving you navigation, adaptive cruise control, forward emergency braking, forward collision warning, $2,500 for that system. Uh, the park distance control, $750. Apple CarPlay compatibility was $300. The turbo cord charger was $500. And of course, we can print you out a copy or you can peruse it yourself. And um, the cool thing about this one, it has a range extender, which is a small uh, two-cylinder gasoline engine. It's about 600 cc's. And while um, it's not like a hybrid, like I used to, I have a Toyota Prius, and for the most part, the Prius gets most of its power from the gasoline engine, and it has a small electric motor to kind of give it a boost of power, or at low, you know, speeds of 20 or 30 miles per hour, it can drive for short distances just under, uh, just under electric power. The way the range extender works in the i3 is a little bit different. It's basically like an onboard generator. So this is an electric car. You can also get these completely electric without a range extender. The range extender adds peace of mind. So you have two uh, gauges right here. This gauge right here, uh, that is for the battery. So right now it's 44 miles, a little, a little bit below a half charge. When it's fully charged, you have a little under 100 miles of uh, electric driving. Uh, and it also depends on the way you drive. If you're hot riding it, obviously you'll lose range. You'll get probably a little bit better range on the highway versus, you know, stop and go traffic. Then this gauge over here is your range extender. Um, so that's your, you have a small, it's like 2.5 gallons uh, fuel tank for the range extender. So uh, if you run out of electric charge, then the range extender will automatically kick on and that generator will give you enough juice to, you know, get, to, get you where you need to go. Um, and you probably get about, you know, 70 miles uh, out of a, you know, tank of gas when it's on range extender. So you get about a combined range of 170, 180 miles. So the nice thing is with most other electric cars, you run out of juice, you're dead in the water. This actually, you know, gives you enough, uh, you know, extended range to get to where you need to go. Um, and of course, you know, it might be a pain, but you can just keep on topping off the gas tank if you need to, if you're pretty far from home. But, you know, 70 miles is pretty good uh, range extender. Uh, if, you t if you ask me. Uh, nice contoured steering wheel. And you can notice the construction of the i3. They use uh, um, environmentally friendly materials in the construction of the i3. An extended use of carbon fiber. Uh, the whole, uh, basically, body of the vehicle is made out of carbon fiber. Uh, it's making it very light. Uh, when you have an electric car, weight is your enemy. And um, carbon fiber is a very light and strong material. And that's a big reason why this was 50 plus thousand dollars when it was brand new uh, because of using so much carbon fiber in the construction. But it's actually so light that uh, just a carbon fiber body, uh, two people could easily lift it up 
uh, by themselves and uh, it adds a lot of strength and makes this a very very light vehicle and also the batteries uh, the way they're positioned the floor is very flat and even though it's a small car you have a good amount of interior space Oop. gotta close the doors the right way that one first and then that one so i also want to point out something else too i gotta start it again uh, unlike a lot of cars with keyless ignition, the nice thing about this one is it will uh, it will shut off when you leave the vehicle. It has a proximity key, so if you leave the vehicle, it will shut it off just to save a little bit on gas. Even though it has pretty large wheel and tire package, they're very skinny. Um, and uh, it's the, don't be afraid, this still is an amazing handling vehicle. It's not very heavy, so it doesn't need super wide tires. but. These unique uh, tires uh, really do a great job reducing rolling resistance, which uh, also makes the vehicle a lot more efficient. So there is your charger. You can charge it from home, usually from a home outlet. That's not the most efficient way of charging. You'll maybe get about, uh, you know, from the, I guess the minimum uh, uh, power from an outlet, like if you have a 15 amp outlet, you're gonna maybe get two miles of uh, charge per hour, which isn't very efficient. So if you buy one of these vehicles, I recommend uh, getting a uh, home charger installed. It's not that expensive. And from like a 240 uh, charger, you could probably uh, install it in your home. Uh, you could probably get a full charge in just a couple of hours. And of course, there's lots of uh, fast chargers. I have a Blink charger for some of our electric vehicles. It's pretty easy to set up a Blink account. You can activate it with your iPhone. You don't have to worry about putting credit cards and stuff in there. And that works great. Uh, then you have uh, some other uh, electric uh, car charger companies. You have uh, Electrify America, which is starting to pop up as well. Uh, so you have a lot of options as far as charging goes and of course having the range extender means you don't have to go to a fast charger if you do run out of juice you have that range extender to get you to your home charger or your destination charging uh, when you get there a little bit extra space here um, you know maybe you can put your charger there or other things and that's your inflator kit if you do get a flat tire uh, about makes about 180 horsepower it's rear wheel drive it has that uh, small uh, two uh, two-cylinder 600 cc motorcycle engine uh, very innovative innovatively uh, put inside the vehicle I'll see if I can find you a diagram so you can see how it looks pretty cool way the vehicle is constructed thanks for watching this video